Chris, thank you. This week we saw firsthand how organ donation can save lives. Nicholasville paramedic John Mackey died and donated his organs and now lives on through others. Tonight, a Frankfurt man knows what it's like to be on the waiting list for an organ. Tonight, he sits down with us to talk about how coming down with a simple virus has him waiting for a life saving gift from someone's family. That's a beautiful fall day. I mean, I, know. I wish they all could be like this. If there is one thing to be said about Terrence Coomer, he loves life. In 21 years, he and his wife Harriet have shared the ups and downs of marriage. I've never had a best friend till I met him. He's my best friend. The six-year military veteran will tell you his life has been defined by one thing. I'm a hard worker. Everybody knows that about me. And Terrence has worked hard in construction to support his family. The last project we was on was a Commonwealth Stadium. Terrence never saw that job finish. It was here working construction at Commonwealth Stadium that Terrence picked up what he thought was a cold. A brief rush with sickness soon turned his world upside down. You know, like a stomach virus is what it was like to me. In 2014, that bug Terrence says he picked up from a co worker ran its course. But after, Terrence was still lethargic and not feeling right. I'm out front, like, come on, guys, let's go. Let's get these tools up. Let's but I was the one dragging behind. What Terrence didn't know was his health was quickly declining. A doctor came in and she said, you're in bad shape. It was his heart and a virus, doctors say, could be the culprit. There are viruses, particularly a virus called Coxsackie B virus, that we know can attack the heart. Uh, not in everyone. Dr. David Booth says what happened to Terrence is rare, affecting between 10 and 50,000 people. It's not only that the virus itself may bring about damage to the heart muscle, but in many people, what appears to happen is the virus confuses the body's immune system into thinking that their heart is not theirs. Terrence received a pacemaker, but this September his health was declining again and he was sent to the VA hospital in Nashville. Terrence is now on what he calls his miracle drug, Milrinone. While the booster drug for the heart is helping, it's not enough. He needs a new heart. We're packed and ready to go. <laughs> the Coomers are now waiting for that phone call to tell them a heart is available. His doctor is optimistic. Everything in him sets up to where uh, for him to get a transplant, I think will be a great thing. The Coomers are now urging anyone who will listen about the value and importance of being an organ donor. So important for um, life, you know. You, you, you know, your death could be somebody else's life. For Terrence, it's a race against the clock, but he's not letting his failing heart cloud his outlook on the life he loves so much. I don't know what the big picture is, a big plan is, but I know there is a plan for me. That there is. Terrence is in Nashville right now, and if a heart doesn't come before tomorrow, he will undergo another procedure. It's called an LVAD to help until a heart becomes available. And for more information on organ donation and a way to support this family, just look for this story a little bit later on WKYT.com. The million dollar question, how likely is it that Terrence will get a heart Transplant. Well, that's a good question. So, Terrence needs a heart from someone that is the exact same height, weight, mm -hmm. and blood type as he is. It can come from a male or female, but his doctors are really optimistic that that's going to happen. And ironically, both Terrence and his wife were both set up to be organ donors before this ever happened. So, it's kind of coming full circle what they hope to do after their own deaths is now where they face themselves right now. So he has a great outlook on life, and yeah. uh, you appreciate that. Just sure. great folks. Yeah.